In 2001, Namibia reported over 735,000 malaria cases with over 1,700 deaths. Twelve years later, the prevalence dropped to less than 4,000 with only four fatalities. It was a significant drop which seemed to have relaxed the guard of health authorities because three years later, malaria prevalence spiked again. Over 24,600 cases reoccurred, resulting in 87 people succumbing to the disease. The year alone did not start well, although reported malaria cases went down to close to 12,018 deaths. The reason is that some pockets of villages were left unattended. Our mosquito net uh, distribution uh, was weak, but most importantly, perhaps that a lot of people were not using the mosquito net. So we need to strengthen our education campaign to the community to ensure that they are using the mosquito net. Otherwise, we will be faced with this type of um, uh, disaster. Most of the reported malaria cases originate from neighboring Angola, and the health minister since a meeting with his Angolan counterpart is scheduled to discuss coordination efforts for the next season to contain the disease. The ministry will also jumpstart its community health workers program, which faced suspension earlier due to budget constraints. Uh, ultimately, we pushed for not suspending the training of community health workers. So the program is going on very well. Uh, so far, we have trained more than 1,600 community workers that are deployed in all 14 regions of the country. And more still needs to be trained to bring the existing number of health workers into proportion with the population at a ratio of one health worker for every 1,500 people. The training of health workers will resume next month.